What's up guys, Joseph Dope here, and welcome back to, finally, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Holy crap, it has been a long time since the last time I did one of these. Yeah, sorry about that, school was sort of interfering. But hey, I'm out now, so what do you say we get back to Zelda? Yeah. You also may notice about my commentary that I had to resort back to recording my voice with a camera since my mic sucks and wasn't working for some reason. Sorry if it doesn't sound this good, but hey, at least you can hear me. Hopefully. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. This is Talon, the guy that we saw earlier. He's wearing a Bowser pendant, and he looks like Mario. And he's sleeping here with the chickens, being all lazy, and the guy who looked like Luigi back there was being all hard-working and such. Trying to tell us something, Nintendo. I'll stop him. Get in my way. Mumble, mumble. Huh? I'm awake already? What? Well, I'll be if it ain't a forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. She didn't even care, dude. So what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. They fly around way better than these ones. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds from an among normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. Ooh. If you can't find them, then I win and you die. It'll be 10 rubies. Want to play? Well, actually, I forgot to do this. Wait, shut up, shut up, shut up. No, oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, God. Okay, what I was, uh, what I was going to do was basically put all of these cuckoos by the stairs. Because when you do that, and when he throws the cuckoos, like, it'll be easier to pick them out because they're not in the crowd. They're just out in the open. But, I screwed up the button, so now we're gonna have to do it the normal way. Whatever. Okay, where's the last one? Wow, I actually did it. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. I'm right next to you, dude. Hey, you. You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. I can see it now. Link with the cowboy hat. How'd you like to marry Malin? Uh... I don't know how to respond to that, dude. I mean, will you get mad at me if I say yes, or get mad at me if I say no? Alright, I'm just gonna say no, because... For obvious reasons. Ha ha ha, I was just kidding. Just kidding, I think you're a little too young for that, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Oh, you were joking. I knew that. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own Lon Lon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. And we got Lon Lon milk. But even better, we got another empty bottle. That's cool. So yeah, he said that we can come back here, buy some more Lon Lon milk if we want. But there's actually a much easier way to get Lon Lon milk that I'll show you in a little bit. But long, long milk is basically, uh, it increases five or six hearts, something like that, per gulp. And there's two gulps, so yeah, you'll get ten or twelve hearts for the entire thing. So that's cool. Anyway, this place looks nice. Out in the open, horses. Aw oh, man, it reminds me of the days back when I lived on a farm. Actually, I never lived on a farm. Lived here in Krabby Victorville all my life. Hi, Malin. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? As a matter of fact, I did. But you can't hear me because I'm a human in the real world. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, that was obvious. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she is, and she seem, seems that she's scared of me. Probably because I have a sharp dagger. Talk to her again. Talk to her again. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. I know, it's because I have a dagger. And I kill things with it. 
talk to her again, and this time she'll say, my mother composed this song. It's not like nice. Let's sing together. So yeah, I actually never found out about this until much later in the game, but you can actually take out your ocarina here. I said, take out your ocarina here. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play the song with that ocarina? Yes, I will. And yeah, we can actually learn another song here. <clears throat> I get it. Get the instructions. There we go. <coughs> yeah. What a way to ruin it. Stupid cops. You've learned a bonus song. Whoop de doo. Another fantastic song. Yay! We learned a three note song, and there's that stupid owl. Mind your own business. And then this happens. Apparently that's the horse's way of expressing love. I'm just gonna walk away. Anyway, uh, there's actually one more thing we can do here before we leave. Actually, there's two things we can do here, but one more. There's actually a heart piece here, so let's go get that. Like, walk so freaking slow. Well, actually, he's not walking. He's running, and he's still slow. All right, so over here in this big building. Dang it, I, first, I still can't get used to the inverted controls. I need to fix that if you can. Yeah, and here we'll find ourselves some cows. And here's, uh, wait, let me look at the bottles. So yeah, we can talk to the cows. Well, not talk to them, we can play a opponent song next to their behind. <clears throat> and they'll talk to us. Moo! What a nice song. It reminds us of the pasture. That song makes us feel so good we can produce a lot of milk. Have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. So yeah, if you ever found it, find a cow, play a song to it, and it'll give you milk. You don't even have to squeeze its udders. And we got more long on milk. That's good. Yeah, five hearts. That's that's what it does. Alright, so yeah, you may think that's all we gotta do here, but we got ourselves some milk crates. We can actually push them, get down, we can actually push them out of the way here, because right here we got ourselves a little hole. Let me show you it. Yeah, we got another secret compartment. Ooh, what's that at the end? I have no idea what we're inside. I think this is hay, but how the heck did they make a hay, a building out of hay that makes no sense? Whatever. And another piece of heart, and we completed a heart container. So we got five hearts. That's nice. Yeah, five hearts. All right. All right, let's get out of here. Making me claustrophobic. But hey, I think I could sleep in there if I wanted to. I'm sounding like Nintendo Capri Sun, how he says, whenever he's in a small place like that, he says he can sleep in there. But you know what? It would be, it would be nice to sleep in one of those, I guess. Just, what am I talking about? It wouldn't be nice. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I forgot. We, we can also get some golden skull to us before we leave. Yeah, it's the last thing I was talking about. We, we need to get some gold sculptors. I missed a, gold, a couple a couple gold sculptors back. Messed in my voice. It's Kiri Forest, so I guess we'll go get those sometime. <clears throat> Alright. We got ourselves one of these sculptors on the back of this shed thing here. Let's get that. And. Ah! Some stupid birds over here. Well, yeah, they're birds, but this game calls them Gways. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, yeah, according to Zelda, bats are keys and birds are Gways. Makes perfect sense. Uh, I know there's another skull tool over here. I think it's in like a hole. 
but I forget where the hole is. Yeah, it's over here. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, where is the hole? Okay, well, I know that there's actually another skull in this tree, so let's, let's get that. There it is. Ow. Ow. How back did it hurt me? All I did was touch it. Alright. I think the hole's over here. Is it? Ah, screw it. I'll just cut to it. There it is. Right there. Had to do a freaking lap around the whole ranch again. But we found it. Alright. Uh, over here, we got ourselves some more business scrubs. And in case you didn't know, business scrubs have businesses. Really screwed up those words. Business is. I surrender. In return, I will sell you Deku Nuts. What a rip. No. No, thank you. Okay. Oh. I thought, I thought we had two, but apparently we have three, so. Wait. Uh, Alright, you win. In return, I'll sell you Deku Seeds. No, thanks. I thought there was a gold skull tool on here. I guess I was wrong. Does this one have anything useful? Bombs? Bombs? Yes! Oh, screw you. Yeah, we, we need a bomb bag to get bombs. And besides, you know, even if we had a bomb bag, we wouldn't be able to buy those since we only have 25 rupees. Okay, going to the hole was completely pointless. Let's, let's get out of here, shall we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else we can do here at the moment. So, uh, where, where were we supposed to go? It's been so long I forgot. Oh, we were supposed to go to get back to Kakariko, wasn't it? Yeah, Kakariko Village. Yeah, Kakariko Village. Oh, there's actually another Skulltal up here. We cannot reach it because it's up there. And we can't climb like Spider-Man, unfortunately. Because Link was never bitten by a radioactive spider. I'm gonna just cut back to Kakariko. Oh, look at that. Just in time for sunset. I mean, sunrise. Whatever. I honestly like sunrise more than sunset. I don't know. It just looks... Looks nicer. Alright, here we are, Kakariko. And since we came in early, there's no music playing, which sucks. Oh, well. Makes it more peaceful, I suppose. Anyway, let's go talk to... That jerkish guard again. The guy who makes fun of the fact that I can't read. What a jerk. Here's your stupid Pikachu mask. Wahahaha, do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? <coughs> sure, why not? My will will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wahaha. Why are you laughing? What do you find funny about this? You sold the 10 ruby mask for 15 rupees. You're in the little profit. Let's go to the mask shop. No, thank you. I don't want to go back there. That guy is scared. We'll, we'll pay him back later. For now, let's just go up Death Mountain, shall we? Death Mountain Trail. There's the music. All right, Gagrigo Village is that way. Just, just want to let you know. Hello, stupid spiders. Actually, these things are called Tektites. I guess Zelda just really wants to be original. Ugh, take that, stupid Tektite. Yeah, you hear and hear another skull to love, but we can't get in there. Cell explanatory. Kill the stupid Tektites. Ooh, what's this? Whoa! What's that? It looks so scary. No, not really. I am one of the Gorons, the stony people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. I hate it. I want to smash it, but I'm not strong enough. It blocks the entrance of the Dodongo's cavern, which was once a very important place for us. 
But then one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. Even though it's called the Dodongos Cavern, and obviously Dodongos should be in there in the first place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Yeah, Goron City is up here. More funny looking Goron people up there. So let's go up there. So yeah, this is a, basically the next area. We're gonna be going to another temple soon. So prepare for that. What do you gotta say, Mr. Goron? They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Eh, I wouldn't call her beautiful. Do you wanna see her? No, not really. She's definitely not beautiful. But we're gonna have to see her anyway to progress. Anyway, that guy almost killed me. What a jerk. Uh, and another Goron. This one's very big. I'm standing here to shave the bomb flowers from the sun. Do you wanna, do you have a question for me? Ask about bomb flowers, ask about, well I already know about the Dom Scammer. Those plants growing over there are bomb flowers. They are mining plants that grow only on this mountain. They usually grow only in dark places like caves. So bomb flowers that grow in a place like this are extremely rare. So I got to, so I'm on the duty of shading them. I had to stay here for the rest of my life to shame them. My entire purpose in life is gone. Thanks to the stupid people who told me to shade them. I will kill them one day. Also, he was talking about Goron Bracelet, which you need to pick them up, the bomb flowers. Since even though they look like we can pick them up, since we're only like 10 years old, we're not strong enough. Anyway, this is Goron City. I think we'll continue in this place in the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. I guess Link is tired from this episode. So, bonjour. I mean... Wait, that's... that's hello. What's French for goodbye? I think it's a do. Okay, a do. Bye!